Hi class, so today we're going to start a new project. So I'm going to open up my computer science principles folder. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it search. I didn't put that in my computer science principles folder, so just move it. And whenever I do that, I really seem to lose it. Let's do another new not a new file. Let's see if I can get this right. Call it search. And today we're going to be setting up a, the search uh, search algorithms, which are going to be a linear search and a binary search. So we need to make our web page. And we need to make our CSS. And we need to make our JavaScript. And our web page is going to start with all the basics. And then we're going to connect it. So I'm just going to open up my Fibonacci code and steal the last line. And I'm going to steal the CSS. Close that. That's all I really need. But I'm going to not call this Fibonacci.css, but search, since that's the name of my <coughs> CSS file. And search.js, because that's the name of my JavaScript file. And we're going to make a div tag. We'll call this uh, results and JavaScript is going to populate all this stuff. But what we could do, um, oops. I'm just putting in like a, a bogus, uh, bogus numbers, um, and then we're going to have a button. not div equals, id equals. So this one will be randomize. And the class will be a button. And on click will be something. I'm just going to put the word randomize. And have another button called reset. And the ID will just be reset. Um, and then we need another button next linear and we're not we aren't, haven't written the functions yet so we're not gonna um, and another one for binary And then um, we're actually going to come back to the top here. I'm going to say count. And um, and that's going to keep track of our um, how many times we have to check until we get the um, correct. Um, the search results. Um, I guess we could also do uh,
we want an input. So Fibonacci has an input line um, right here. Steal that. And uh, the type is number. The ID is going to be uh, list length. The name will be list length. Class will be input box. The value can start as 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will programmatically fix that. And on input, uh, update display. And let's see what we got here. Perfect, looks beautiful. So we've got one, two, three, four buttons. We've got a, a input box and we've got a count and we've got a list of numbers. So in our CSS, we can say body, background color, Tan. Make sure that this works out. It's tan, and I'm just going to go through and um, make everything a little bit nicer. I'd like our buttons. We need buttons next. Um, got button, and I'm going to come back to the Fibonacci stuff and grab my button. Uh, there are no buttons in the Fibonacci text. So in the calculator, let's see what the calculator button had. So if you notice, I'm just going through and I'm grabbing stuff that uh, that exists from old code. Um, this is perfectly okay to do. I will. Uh, I might not want my button to look like a calculator button, so I will. Uh, I'll mess with it. Um, first, I will. Close these because I don't need them anymore. Hit refresh. And I've got um, randomize reset next, next, but it doesn't look like a button. So let me go back to uh, that calculator button. Yeah, I'm going to pick a different one of the CSS files. And I need to look for, oh, okay, so border radius, looking for that stuff. I'm going to spend a minute just making my button look like a button, um, which it doesn't yet, but it will soon. And those are horrible looking buttons, but they at least look like something now. Um, so I can close these out and then just fine tune them. So my uh, border width is way, way, way too thick. Um, where did I do this? Border radius, border width. Let's make it I get two pixels and make this three pixels. And I actually have two border radius, which doesn't make sense. Okay, these look like nice buttons. Um, I actually would like to put them one line down. So, uh, Let's see, this input type, I'm going to put a line break. I'm going to put an HR break. Let's see what it looks like. There, so now we've got the controls on the bottom. Um, they're not highlighting when I hover over them. I could go take the code some more, but I think I can just as quickly type um, the hover. And I want to um, transition duration 
0 0.5 seconds, so we have a smooth transition. And um, transform, translate x, and you can just use translate if you want to look that up. I'm going to translate x two pixels and translate y two pixels. And then on active, I'm going to make it 5 pixels by 5 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. Well, it's not doing anything, so. hover. Nope, it's not happy with that. So I'm going to change the background color to blue. This is temporary. I just want to see if, if anything is happening here. Yeah, so blue is working. So <clears throat> I'm doing something wrong with my Translate. I'm going to go back to the calculator because I know the calculator did have translate. <clears throat> there we go. It is on separate lines. So it's. Is it? Oh, I don't see. Feels. Trying something different. Um, so what I would like to do is make it a darker tan. Um, CSS. Dark tan color. Dark tan might actually have a, oh, we'll just grab the uh, the hex value. There might be a dark tan option, but um, I'm going to keep this as dark tan here. Let's see how that looks. And then the text has to change color as well. There, got some nice looking buttons. Thank you. That's the setup of our. I uh, know, actually, nope, that's not the setup. This still looks lousy. Let me get some new fonts in here. Um, style, import, just grab the style piece, do not grab the tags. Because we are in a CSS page. And grab the font family, and I'm going to have the whole everything be the same font, so we can put it in the body. Um, I'm also going to make the font a little bigger.
So it's 50% bigger than the default font. There, I like that a little better. Okay, um, uh, no, oh, input box. Almost missed the input box. Never ends, so uh, what's the input box called? Um, the class is input box. So that's an, oh no, that is a class, not an ID. So it's dot input box. So if we have more input boxes, we can keep them the same. And we're going to uh, do the same thing that we did with the other stuff. Um, and I'm okay with it being, uh, do I want, I'm gonna do a light tan. CSS light tan. No, I'll just take the text, the hex one, and modify it myself. So. I'm going to say, no, I'm going to take out the, uh, the less important numbers and dump these all up one. D goes to C, D goes to E. It should be a little bit of a lighter version. Let's make this F, D, A. So I bumped it up two letters. Yeah, that's that's a, a lighter tan. Oops, not color, background color. Um, and this is this looks good for our, our setup. Uh, why is uh, no font has to be 100% of this 150%. And once you put the font size in, then it, uh, there. Okay, this looks good to me now. I'm, I'm happy enough with it. Um, enjoy setting up your, uh, your linear and binary search uh, web application. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next lesson.